Hey there campers, it's Barry here with Southern RV. We've just taken delivery of our first Rockwood Mini Light. This is a 2109S model. Let's check it out. All right, let's start by taking a walk around the outside of this Rockwood Mini Light. As we come up to the front, the first thing we notice is that we do have a molded front cap here. That's an automotive grade front windshield as well. And they've given us this rock guard down low. There's also a dual battery box, so it's capable of hosting two batteries. And we have a power tongue jack as well. There's some LED accent lighting up front. And all of our landing gear is also power. So that makes it pretty quick and easy to set up. If we open this up, you'll notice that we have a large pass-through storage. They've given us a, a little dining table that we can see right here as well. The exterior does have the rail system that we see on most of our Rockwoods, so this is capable of hosting like a table or a griddle. There is an LP connect down low for hooking up gas-powered appliances outside. They've given us a TV mount as well as power and cable out. We even have some exterior speakers here in here. And notice that our windows are frameless, so that's pretty cool too. We have a decent sized power awning. It runs pretty much the length of the camper and it sticks out nice and far as well, covering that front entryway. Notice that we do have the solid step entry and a ladder to climb up to the back. Uh, it's got a walkable roof and it's pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. The spare tire is here on the bumper and it has the two inch receiver hitch down low as well. Now that receiver hitch is only rated for 300 pounds. It's gonna be good for carrying like a bike rack or cargo rack or something of that nature. This unit is 30 amp service. You can see we've got our power hook up here in the back next to our control panel for all of our water in. There's also a small outside shower and all of this is above our sewer hoses which are in the back. Notice that this does have one slide out, and if we look up top, the slide out does come with a slide topper or slide awning, however you like to refer to it. Let's hop up inside and check this bad boy out. Okay, so as we first step up to the inside, one thing I'll notice is that just inside the door, there's like a little shoe cubby right here that makes it easy to stash something if you need to. And this closet has these removable shelves that are quick and easy to pull out. So it can be used as a hanging closet or as a pantry. Our refrigerator is just to the left of it. Let me spin around here. As you can see, the bedroom is right up in the very front of this model with some cabinetry up and around it. We'll get to that a little bit more in just a second here. But there's that front entryway. You can see this is the closet that we saw as we came up and through. Our refrigerator by Dematic. Our kitchen consists of a microwave, a dual basin stainless sink. We have a three burner cooktop with a glass cover. So that's gonna give you more counter space as well as our oven down low. And they've given us some generous drawers here too, as well as this countertop extension should you need it. This can flip up and add more counter space. Some storage down low. And then we have our entertainment center which has a nice flat screen TV. Now this is on a mount so it can come out and face the bed or it can face across to the couch. The sofa, which is here in the slide, this is also a jackknife sofa, so this will lift up and then just lay flat. So it could sleep one extra person if needs be. We do have some overhead storage up above. And then in the back, back here, we have our bathroom. 
Let's open that up. I dig this because it's a small trailer, but yet we still have this nice glass enclosure. There's plenty of storage here in the bathroom as well. And we've got the foot flush toilet as well as a decent sink and a medicine cabinet with some great little storage features here and a shelf that you can see. So that's a pretty well organized small bathroom. The bed, if you notice down low, we have these three drawers. Those are pretty deep, but also we can lift this bed up and there's storage in beneath it as well. There's one of those tray tables that hooks to that outside rail system that we saw earlier. And like I was saying, these drawers, they're nice and deep and you've got three of them in a row. Also of note is that we do have power on the side of the bed in the form of both USB and 110. And then we've got closet style hanging storage as well as just some shelf space to stash other items as well. There are shades that draw down on all of the windows so you can have complete privacy. I do like the fact though that they've got windows across from one another here in the bedroom. So if you are camping somewhere that's nice and temperate, it's going to offer a chance to open those up and catch a cross breeze inside. So that's fairly well thought out as far as a small camper goes. Guys, there's not a whole lot more to see in this one. It's, it's pretty short, pretty lightweight. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and be sure to follow us on YouTube and on Facebook. You guys take care and until next time, happy RVing. Thank you.